Hi everyone, uh, my name is Aldous and uh, today I'm here to show you a uh, step-by-step installation of uh, Tesla Solar. Uh, so what I have is, uh, if you look at my previous videos, what I'm gonna install is a 8.5 kilowatt uh, system. So I'm gonna show you from the beginning. So today they just came around uh, 7.30, here it's like eight o'clock in the morning. 7.30, uh, there's one guy came and then uh, he started working on my roof already. You can uh, see that up here. Look at it. Uh, you can see only one harness there uh, because he just marked uh, the roof where, the, where they're gonna put the panels. So that's the first step. So he put the ladder here and uh, he just uh, climbed this way and it's uh, going to be in my back and also it's going to be on the other side of the house um, so uh, the thing is as if you can see well, it's too color with my roof the reason because um, uh, before installing they want me to change the roof so i didn't want my roof is not that bad um, but uh, since the pattern is going to be there for at least 30 years that's why they told me to change the uh, roof on uh, at least on the sides where uh, the panels are going to go. So that's the reason you can see one way panel and uh, a different old panel. I mean not panel, I meant uh, uh, the roofing. Uh, so anyway, so, uh, so I'm going to, this is the first uh, session. What they did is they just marked it and they're going to make some holes to put the rail in uh, for now. So. Um, all right, keep watching. Pardon me about the noise because I have a close, a pretty busy street right there. So it's gonna be a little noisy, but uh, bear with me. So this is where uh, the technician is uh, marking and uh, making some holes in the roof where it will be going. Um, and uh, as you can see, there's uh, plenty of Tesla vehicles out there. So each technician came with uh, their own car, which is interesting. And uh, there's going to be a big truck coming to uh, bring all the panels and all the hardware, so which is going to go. So keep watching. Right, finally the truck is here, so they're unloading all the stuff. So as you can see here, these are the stuff. They just unloaded our panel, and it is going to be inside the panel. Going to be Solar City's SE325 pounds. And all the stuff gonna go. Yes. As you can see now they mount that uh, mounting plates and there's one other person right there, he's mending some pipes so that uh, you can use it as a conduit which is gonna come down just below that window going all the way down there then it's gonna go through the basement which I'm gonna show you in a minute so now it's mounting plates right there okay so the solar uh, guy I mean the the electrician handed me with this uh, uh, solar city home getaway thingy which is the wireless uh, connectivity between your uh, solar panels and uh, to the router so what you're gonna do i'm gonna do an open box video of that you're just gonna open it and see beautiful box as a cook set guide we don't need to know how to do it so this is the actual gateway and it if you want you can put actually uh, i mean i think the wire hooks up here and the power goes in there and there's one usb on it so what else in the box there is uh the ethernet cable and the charging cable that's all so you just gonna put this thing in and then you have to, you put your uh you know solar city account then that's it you're ready to go so you can see real time uh your uh, solar panel production uh, how you know how many kilowatts you're producing uh, what your sunlight and all kind of stuff like that all right looking forward to that so keep watching uh, if you can see closer uh there is uh you know like attachment uh, already on it uh, which uh, 
they're gonna attach the rails and then they're gonna attach the panel on top of it so these are i know they just put it on the roof and then they sealed it with uh, some kind of glue and uh, they, those are the harness all right this is how they bring up the panel to the roof so he just hook up to the to the pulling rope and he just brings it up like that let's wait and see So he's carrying the panel and he's gonna take it up there. They're installing the panel. So actually there's no more mounting rail. They're installing actually on the hook. On my side of my house, they're installing it horizontally. Whereas uh, in my back of my house, they're installing it vertically. I guess uh, that's how they designed it. And uh, uh, it's gonna be a total of 26 panels on both sides. Uh, so they're putting them on the plates on. Now I'm going to show you where they're installing the inverter and the breaker switch and everything. So this is my basement. So I had a choice. I could either install inside or outside. Uh, but I chose to do it inside because I'm going to get a solar wall. I mean power wall soon, so it's gonna be there. I'm installing it. I open my breaker. So that's the inverter. It's gonna connect to the my main breaker and uh, the conduit going through there. And it's going out through there somewhere. So after about, uh, I would say seven to three o'clock, right now it's three o'clock. So after about like uh, uh, eight hours, they finished the installation completely. Look at that beautiful solar roof. Uh, actually it's not solar roof, it's solar panel, but it looks like it's much better than uh, my roof. And uh, if you look from the, street level it looked black but it's actually uh, silver in the top silver linings and then look at the conduit I'll show you when I go inside my basement and I showed you earlier uh, there's a conduit coming uh, from my panel so that conduit is going up all the way down they went up all the way down and it's, it's like that I heard from uh, some previous video that they will paint that conduit but in my case they did not do it but i don't mind it's in my back of my house i guess that's why they probably did not do it but still it's a it's a aluminum looking it's you know it's a chrome it's not bad i don't mind so it's a back side panel and also i have my side panel too and look at that side panel unfortunately i had a vent uh there so it's like uh, i'm missing one panel Otherwise, it would be perfect. Uh, you know, it will look so nice. But still, it's 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 really nice. It looks really nice. And uh, they put the skirting on a uh, both side. Uh, you know, wherever it's visible. So I have 26 panels here. We counted here. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Which is 10, 14 panels here, and 12 panels the other side. Uh, so total of. 26 panels and my system size is 8.5 uh, DC watt but um, uh, since I don't have any shade around my house uh, and my sun goes from uh, that direction to all the way down here uh, so I am expected to produce at least 10 kilowatt okay and uh, now I'm gonna show you what's inside my house at the inverter 
and the breaker switch and everything like that all right so that's my basement so it's unfinished sorry about the mess uh so i don't know if you can see that that's a conduit coming from there and let me show you it comes through there on the top it comes like that it comes over there and finally comes here so now the system is off but if you want to turn it on what you're gonna do is so that's my main panel all right to turn on the system once so they have to change one more thing uh, in my uh, meter i have a regular meter uh, they have to change that to a net metering so after that i'm be able to uh, that's that that should be done by psng and after that i should be able to turn it off but he showed me how to turn it on all you got to do just have to take out my panel so these are the breakers for the uh, uh for the solar so you gotta turn this on right here so you can see light up so three lights came on and it says night night mode i don't know if you can see it there yes it says night mode then there's a dc disconnect switch here which you're gonna turn into that that should power on and if you look at here it still says night mode it says synchronization it will take five minutes uh, to show it so it just uh, not the current data but um, uh, that's what it shows and it showed me how to look into it uh, uh, hold on initial settings down production info enter current data enter current overview um, it's still synchronizing so I'll show you in one minute okay so if you look at it, it says hold on let me zoom in here if you look at it, it says all current overview says a normal operation so this is how it should be working and you can hear a small uh, a noise it's not a hissing noise it's like a small uh, noise that you can hear from that uh, so if you look at it uh, now I'm just uh, going up and down because I'll um, on overcast weather no sun out uh, but um, that's what I'm producing right now and uh, if you go by current view overview but if you want to go current data ac it's 247 volt l it's uh here you go l l1p i think it's 2700 watt that's what they're producing it uh now let me go to current pv data okay so i have two um two sections i mean i forgot what they told me there's uh, two um uh, i have you know you know i show um, i showed you back and forth i mean i have a uh, two set of system in uh, one in back one in uh, front side so they made it as a uh, two different zones uh actually there's four zones but they tied it together two zones so uh so two zones they tied it together make it serious in the back and then and uh, they run both uh, parallel uh, so on the side too, they have a two series, but they made it serial, uh, serial connection. Then they made, uh, f they run four wires uh, from there and made it two parallel connections. So that's why I have a two, um, you know, two stage um, right here. So they, there's two zoning. P1 is my back and P2 is my side. So right now my back is producing 379 and uh, my side is producing 328 the, i told you the reason why because it's overcast weather there's no really sun uh, out there um uh, if you look at it pv pv2 day 10 time con so basically that's what it is so now it's uh, 1738 uh, watt um that's what uh, uh, my panel i mean my you know that's a ac watt which is uh, producing by this inverter uh, let me uh, look at uh, what's my current ac okay 240 volt and six point ego so l1p it's one 
1588 and uh, uh, I think it's a uh, second uh, zoning it's a uh, 1200 and uh, I mean 187 uh, watt but I don't have I have the app I can show I wish I could have showed you all this uh, system detail and the app unfortunately they haven't activated yet uh, so I cannot show you but once it's updated uh, once my I have once they install net metering I will show you all that uh, uh, all that uh, data uh, so for now I'm gonna turn off the system for that you go turn it off you're gonna you're gonna change this thing to DC off so it's off then I'm gonna come here gonna turn off my breaker and uh, that's all about it hope you like the video and if you like it uh, please subscribe and uh, you know share with your friends if somebody's looking to uh, uh, install the solar and also always uh, use my uh, uh, like call it what do you call it uh, use my ruffle code I have I still have uh, uh, plenty of uh, code left I think if you give five percent then you will get extended warranty so I only have used two I still have three left to go uh, so if you want to use it uh, feel free to use my uh, code my ruffle code what will uh, what good thing about using ruffle code is if you use a ruffle code that will give you extended five-year warranty on your system so that uh, the system comes with 20-year warranty but uh, if you use a ruffle code it will uh, it will give you an extra uh, five years warranty so always feel free to use it I will uh, I will put that in a uh, description so there's a link on the description you can click that link and you can order it from that or you can uh, just use my referral code from there um, so it's a uh, L dose nine zero four eight uh, that's what my referral code I believe uh, anyway so if you will have you will see it in my um, description so feel free and uh, uh, subscribe so I'm gonna uh, come up with another video how to turn it on uh, ready to go system I'm gonna show you the app on my phone too all right thanks for watching thank you